Hey everyone, PG Ty here again with some more Modern Arnie's Basics. We're going to be working today, this time on grip, mainly especially things like coordination, dexterity, things like that. So, uh, hope you enjoy. So we'll start with uh, a nice, we're going to loosen up the wrists first, so that's what we'll start with. You can do double down, double up, and we'll talk about the spin here in a second, but right now we're just loosening the wrists. Okay. You can go one down, one up. Down, one up. You can do two down on one side, two up on the other side. Okay, you can alter it. Um, the point is, is loosen up the wrist. So you do those a few rounds. Um, another thing I like to do is uh, abanico double action. So we go over, pop, up, and rip. 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 So this is. Just another way to sort of warm up your wrists, loosen them up, and uh, also get them kind of get some blood pumping to them. All right, now that the wrists are a little bit loosened up, I want to talk a little bit more about that spinning. Um, one of the things you don't want to do is open your hand when you spin. One, that means you're not wrapping around the stick, and two, it means you only have this pinch that is holding your stick. So it's really easy, basically, to get yourself disarmed either by uh, a disarm or some sort of hit on that hand, it'll knock it loose, or a mistake that you might make. So you're setting yourself up for a bad opportunity if you open your hand when you spin. So please don't open your hand when you spin. So we we'll keep the wrist around it. We're gonna we're gonna use the wrist and maybe even the shoulder and uh, elbow to make it spin like we want it to spin. Okay. So the other thing is, is if you open up the hand, then there's no reason for the wrist to really loosen up. So if you have your grip on there managing the stick one all the way around and two with all the fingers doing some control then your wrist gets a little more loosened up and there's more leverage against your wrist okay the other thing you could do and, and actually I would start with this is basically we're taking a cue from uh, baton twirl so we're just going to if you have a middle grip and you start it spinning away from you put it between the first two fingers and let it spin. So this loosens up the wrist. This might be the starting thing or something you can do while you're just fidgeting. It gives you a couple things. One is a nice gentle loosening and blood flow exercise for the wrist. Um, the other thing is it lets you feel the stick and you have to do this relaxed. So you can just to feel how the stick moves. So it should be pretty comfortable. Um, you should do it you know, while you're not thinking of anything else. And it can look pretty natural hopefully once, once you're used to it. Uh, nice silly little drill. Uh, it's just for, like I said, that. So I would normally start with that if I hadn't already done it, and then I would do the the two that I just showed with the with the twirling up and down and the abanico double action. Okay. Um, the other thing, of course, you can do, and I'm sure most people do. I'm just gonna walk through it just for completion's sake. You can first hold the stick this way, double palms up, and punch through to stretch the wrist on one side, and you. Do the other side, do a few of those, get used to it, and then you can hold it the other way, and you're going to still punch through, So, but you're going to go over to the side. Okay, goes through, you punch through, and that drings the other arm to the side. So this stretches your wrist a little bit as well. What I like to do, though, on that one is to um, punch it back, and then I put myself in a center lock, and I can put nice, good uh, pressure on this wrist here. Okay, so that's another thing that... It, that you can do to put some other pressure on your wrist. Okay, and again, you're not trying to break your wrist, not trying anything like that, but you're just trying to loosen it up and get it used to. Oh yeah, I have to move again. Okay. Um, lastly, of course, you've got the this direction, which you kind of need to grab the fingers. Okay, so you grab their fingers, pull them back towards you, try to keep your arm straight. Okay. If you like, you can do it this way. This one is not very useful for me for some reason, but. So I do the other way, but this is also useful. Um, you can do the other ones by yourself as well without a stick. Okay, you grab the fingers, do that center lock one, all of that stuff. All is to loosen up the the wrist and and uh, get it get the blood moving, get the maneuverability moving. So we'll go on to the next thing. Once you loosen up your ribs, you got some blood blood going to them. You've got uh, some motions. Then you can play with some dexterity drills. Um, 
not very useful except for understanding the weighting and the movement of a free stick. So this is just for fun and, fun and attribute development, not, not a technique. I wouldn't recommend that you change grips this way or anything like that, but there's some things you can do to get comfortable with the stick and also get um, your hand-eye coordination going. So the simplest one is to do the flip from the bottom. Easy peasy, right? You flip from the bottom. But you can also flip from the top. So anyway, flip from the bottom a couple more times. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. That's the one that people don't do a whole lot. I'm not sure why. Everyone always does this one. And you can do that. Um, in fact, you can just go back and forth. Back and forth. Or just do one, two, and then one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. You do that on both sides. Um, it's just one thing, just as you're fidgeting again, you can stand around doing that. Um, it's good to get comfortable with your stick, good to get comfortable with gripping and being relaxed. And also, when this pops into your hand, you get comfortable with where it's going to go into a comfortable grip position. Another one along those lines is, is even more silly, but hopefully fun. You, uh, you can pop the stick up and catch it. So, I'm not going to look at you, but I pop the stick up and I catch and strike. Okay? So, not anything that's fancy or anything you want to really do, but you, you pop the stick up and you catch it. Okay? You can pop it up, catch it with the other hand, pop it up, catch it on the other end. Okay? Pop it up and catch it on the outside, pop it up, catch it on the inside. Okay? Nifty, fun, silly but you need to be comfortable with your stick. So that's some attribute development you can get for, we've now loosened it up, we've got some dexterity training, we've got some high end, and high hand coordination, and we've got some connection with seeing how the stick moves and how you want to um, be comfortable flowing with it, okay? So switching hands on that, it's one thing you can do, you can, you can, any way you can pop it you want, you can do, all sorts of things. You can put that in your Krenza if you want to. Again, it's just for after you develop it, but we're talking about that exactly today. We're talking about grip and stick control attribute development. Another way you can do attribute development is with juggling. A um, couple things. If you don't know how to juggle, you can just, with two balls in one hand, just toss one up and catch it. Okay? Pretty easy. Um, once you get used to that, what you'll do is you'll toss one up, and while you're catching it, you'll toss the other one up and still catch it. See? So I just did that up, 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 up. And then you can keep that going. Okay? You can keep that going for as long as comfortable. Okay? Another way to do that is if you want to actually learn how to start juggling, it's really pretty simple. All you do is you take the one ball, toss it into the other hand. You can start by just doing this so you get used to it. Okay. So I'm tossing it the other hand. Boom. Easy peasy. Then what I do is I toss the other one up while I'm catching it. So I'm doing half of juggling right now. Boom. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. The other half is that way. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay. And finally, you do three balls juggling. And you can do this two-person, you can do it however you want. But that's a neat little skill that is doesn't look like you're practicing, but you're practicing hand-eye coordination uh, and comfort. So I don't want to belabor the point too much, uh, but I found that very useful for um, controlling small things, seeing what's happening, and have my hands automatically move.